Hi guys, it's the Pop Missionary getting at you here from, whoa, that was awesome. Did you just see that smoke ring? Holy cow, dude, that was sick. Um, but in all reality, not reality, in all seriousness is the term I was looking for. It's the Pipe and Missionary getting at you guys from my flat here in Sofia, Bulgaria. And I'm encouraging you guys to pack a pipe and light it up because I'm about to tell you the most interesting story that you will probably ever hear in your life. Okay, maybe not really, but it was actually quite a scary story. Let me make sure my pipe's going. Oh, well, I got it going. It's alright. So, first I'll talk about pipes, and then um, I'll get into my story. So I cleaned up that big boy, and uh, I'm smoking some more of that uh, Thomas Radford Sunday Fantasy. It's growing on me a little bit. Um... Although I did mix in, not some English mixture, but, uh, I don't know, not era. It's, well, it's kind of, dang, dude, I don't know what the heck I mixed in. I mixed in some other tobacco I had laying around uh, with this bowl just to see if I can even out the sweetness. But, um, and another sad news is, remember the cool lighter I bought the other day? It doesn't work. If I've refilled it even, I with this stuff right here. So, if you know why my new pipe, or not, pipe lighter is not working, please let me know, because I would like to fix it. And I pulled out the filter. I can't remember who I was having a conversation with on one of my videos about um, the filters and how I need to get a converter for this. And I really do, because I've noticed it's not consistent airflow. I'm having a hard time keeping this pipe lit. It is a new pipe. Um, and part of it's this tobacco is really moist, I think, um, is why it's having trouble staying lit. Because I'm having trouble, la, 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 la. I'm having trouble staying it, having it, dude, I cannot talk and I don't want to redo this video because of the cool pipes, uh, ring. But I'm having trouble keeping it lit in this pipe as well. Um, but what I do want to talk to you guys about is something that happened today a couple of you guys asked me to post videos about the homeless ministry and uh, how it went today well it did go very well we reached about 50 ish people we prayed with them gave them tea a couple of sandwiches a piece some warm hats scarves jackets um, we had just a real blessed time I had enough that I could split the group into two so we went to two different places but in splitting them up, there's only two guys, me and another guy. So I sent a guy with a group of girls, and I went with the other group of girls. Well, about the second people we meet is this young gypsy boy, and we give him some food, and he starts following us, and then we meet this other gypsy boy, and he starts following us. No big deal. An awesome time, you know, thinking, ah, we'll get to fellowship with them. Well, then they started saying remarks about my girls. And I don't know a lot of Bulgarian, but what I could pick up with the attitudes and the reactions that the girls were giving the boys and what they were saying and how they were acting I could tell was inappropriate so I just began praying with the Lord to give me patience um, I was really frustrated with them you know I think and I grew up in the background I'm very conservative and you treat girls with respect and these boys were not giving these girls respect it got to the point where this one boy who was just higher than a kite was t touching this girl, Polly, not in any inappropriate way, but she was not comfortable with it. And they all kind of just migrated to this girl, Polly, and um, I could see that she was uncomfortable. And um, so I kind of put myself in between her and these boys, and I kept pushing these boys away, and I just said, enough, go away. And I'm in this weird position because, you know, I want to share Christ with them, but at the same time, that's not how you treat a girl. And I don't know enough Bulgarian to tell these girl or these boys to go away. So I'm just pushing them, physically pushing them away, saying stiga, stiga, which is uh, enough. It means stop. And um, they kept saying, one more sandwich, one more sandwich. And I kept telling them, no, we've got to feed other people. Well, they snag a sandwich out of a bag from this girl, and he eats it right away. And I, I was boiling inside by this point. So I took the bag. And then they kept going. And so I kind of stayed back in the back of the group to watch these boys. And they mailed it out for a little bit. But then they kept touching Polly. And Polly kept, you know, moving to one side of the group, moving to the other side of the group. And I finally just pushed them away. And they ended up leaving after a little bit. But it was probably one of the most uncomfortable situations where I was not comfortable in Bulgaria. And, you know, it's 
hard when you're responsible for these young girls, and some of them are older, but mostly of them are young, and I'm responsible for them when we're out and about doing ministry. And so that was my adventure today. Um, I just really had to keep my patience, keep my cool, and uh, keep everything inside of me to uh, not, you know, throw down with these kids. I was really angry inside. Um, so I talked to you guys about my pipe lighter. I talked to you. If you guys know how to fix this, please let me know. Um, if you know where I can get a converter for this pipe, that'd be awesome. It's a Mr. Brog 47. Um, pretty sweet pipe. And um, I want to mention, I watched a video by, I believe I read it, wrote it down, so let me look so I don't butcher his name, Dunhill Man UK. I watched his latest upload. If you haven't watched his channel, he's quite the character. He's oh, really fun to watch. Um, but he'd said a really good point towards the end of his video. And... Um, he said, who would have thought, sorry, Pipe Man UK, uh, Dunhill Pipe Man UK, if I butcher what you just said, but basically what he said is, who would have thought a pipe and a hobby would have brought all of us together in the pipe community? And I agree with him. Think about that. We shared our love of pipe smoking on YouTube, and we've just kind of turned into this close-knit family, and you guys are more close-knit. I'm the one, I'm the newbie. I'm just joining you guys. But you guys have just opened up and said, you know, hey, you're a young pipe smoker. Come, come. We like the point of view where you're coming from. And, you know, I was kind of leery about making this a Christian pipe smoking channel. Um, not because I don't like sharing my faith, but I just didn't want to listen to the nasty remarks that I thought I might get. But instead, you guys have been just welcoming. I haven't got any nasty remarks. And um, I agree with everything that you guys are saying. Um, I love learning stuff from you guys. Um, I've learned a lot. And I love when you guys answer my questions and um, help me out with just issues that I may have concerning pipe smoking. With that said, the question is still up there. I'm not going to ask a new question today because I didn't get very many replies to my last question. So the question still stands. How did you get into pipe smoking and how long have you been pipe smoking? If you want to know how I got into pipe smoking and how long I've been pipe smoking, check out um, I, I believe it was my previous uh, video. Sorry for this chaotic, not really planned out video. Normally I have a list of things I want to talk about. Um, and I would have re-recorded it, but I saw the cool pipe ring. Um, so I thought it looked pretty sweet. So check my uh, rest of my videos out. And I'll probably make another one tomorrow. I almost went a whole day without making a video, but... I had to share with you guys and vent to you guys about my frustrations with just those Bulgarian gypsies um, being all over the girls. It's frustrating. Have you guys ever been in a position like that? Um, if so, write about it. It should be interesting or make a video response or something. Alright guys, it's the Pipe and Missionary. It's 10.46pm here. I'm going to bed. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.